In health news tonight, Connecticut researchers have a better understanding now of how brain activity in patients who accumulate excessive clutter. How their brain activity works. Yeah, we're talking about hoarding disorder. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta says there's evidence that connects abnormal activity in the brain to a patient's ability to decide whether to keep something or to throw it out. This is my present office area. For at least a decade, John Dunn has been hoarding stacks of stuff. Basically, I like to keep things for the rainy day and I'll need them someday. The problem is I have so many I can't keep up with them or file them. Now a reformed hoarder, this is a stark contrast compared to when John first shared his story. The situation goes up and down and back and forth. What goes on in the brain leading to excessive clutter is clear now with an MRI study released by the Institute of Living in Hartford. Researchers found when it came down to personal items, the part of the brain associated with the decision making was greatly affected. Parts of their brain that are involved with determining the importance or the relevance or the salience of something kick into overdrive. They become overwhelmed. It's like they can't make the decision. So people like John walk away and the piles of clutter build up. The next step for us is to understand whether these differences in brain activity are permanent traits, that is, this is just how things are in your brain, or whether we can do something about it. You feel a lot of blame and shame in this situation, and to find that there's some potential cause that you're not you know, humanly responsible for either having or correcting is at least somewhat comforting. <laughs> Does that help you as you move forward? It, it's a step to know and a piece to think about, knowing it's just not all me, consciously. The results also leads researchers to believe that hoarding disorder is not a form of obsessive compulsive disorder, which could bring about more effective and efficient treatment. Back to you.